Hi. Do you like salt and vinegar chips? They're pretty popular in Australia. Um, more often than not, they're in a pink packet. Now, whether you call them chips or crisps, we're talking about thin layers of potato that have been fried, seasoned, and popped into a bag. Now, the mystery of the salt and vinegar chip is how do you get a vinegar flavor on a dry bit of potato? Now, vinegar is a solution of acetic acid, so another name that's used for vinegar, with water. Now, clearly, if I was to pour vinegar onto a chip, it would go soggy. But the chips in my packet are not soggy, they're crisp, dry, and ready to eat. So therein lies the mystery. Now the answer to how we can get a vinegar flavored chip lies in some very interesting chemistry. If we take vinegar, so 100% pure vinegar, not this solution from the shops, and a salt by the name of sodium acetate, and mix them together, we form something called a co-crystal. So this co-crystal is composed of acetic acid, sodium acetate, held together as one unit. Now the co-crystal can be represented here. We have sodium diacetate. Sodium diacetate is made up of one acetic acid, shown here at the top, and sodium acetate, shown here in the sodium counter ion and the acetate ion. So sodium diacetate is a solid. We can make it in a powdered form and sprinkle it on top of the chip. When you eat the chip, you get the flavor of the vinegar from the sodium diacetate solid dissolving in your mouth. So there we have it. Some interesting chemistry explaining the mystery of how we can get a non-soggy salt and vinegar chip. Thanks for watching.